AMD shares are lower by nearly 5% right now, while Xilinx is surging about 8%. And this acquisition comes at a moment of weakness for rival Intel, just days after the chip giant posted weak earnings and affirmed a key chip delay. For more on what it all means for investors, let's bring in Matt Ramsey. He's managing director and senior research analyst at Cowan. Matt, it's great to have you. What should Intel do now? Uh, thank you very much, Kelly. Good afternoon, and thanks for having me. Um, I, I think Intel, from, from their side, um, obviously, AMD making the move for Xilinx, NVIDIA being aggressive in what they've done with the Mellanox acquisition and now trying to buy um, IP provider ARM Holdings. I, I think there's there's chips being moved around the table here, and I think Intel really needs to decide, A, are they going to continue to manufacture their own silicon and how much, and B, really double down on investments to get their manufacturing fixed, because I'm of the belief that Intel, first and foremost, is a manufacturing company and trying to uh, compete with companies like AMD and NVIDIA that are well aligned with TSMC is just difficult when your manufacturing footprint is not sound. So uh, I don't think it changes the urgency right. to, uh, to fix things from an Intel perspective, but it's, you know, the pressure is ratcheting up. Yeah, so AMD and NVIDIA have pursued this kind of approach where they go to other manufacturers, Taiwan Semi, uh, notably in AMD's case. A lot of people are speculating over whether Intel should do the same thing. But like you said, you think of them as fundamentally a manufacturing company and they're much bigger. I mean, how realistic is it for them to adopt the same approach? And if they don't, should investors, you know, think twice? I mean, they're probably thinking twice now. Should they think for a third time about whether they really want to own these shares? Yeah, I think the, the the Intel stock performance over the last couple of years would indicate that they're already thinking twice. I mean, to me, I want to uh, pivot a little bit and look at this transaction more from what it does for, for AMD and Xilinx put together to compete with Intel, more customized solutions for data center, um, combines this company to be potentially 20 billion in revenue, mid 50s gross margin and, and a 30% operating margin business that I think importantly, CEO Lisa Thu from AMD this morning reiterated that they think they can grow this combined business at 20% a year. And all of those businesses that they would grow would be things that they would compete directly against Intel for. So um, there's no change in the urgency, as I say, on the Intel side, but this is a big move uh, by another competitor that, that is strengthening itself with the partnership with TSMC over the long term. It's remarkable what Lisa Sue has done. I think she's been there since about 2013 at the helm of AMD, Matt. I mean, would you put her up there? It's not your sector, but with Satya Nadella at Microsoft. Or I, in terms of the ranks of great CEOs, she's got to be at the tippy top right now. No, I, I would certainly agree. Um, I have the utmost respect for Lisa. Um, under her leadership, this company has gone from $2 billion in market cap with $2.5 billion in net debt to, to now um, approaching $100 billion market cap and have grown revenue 25% a year, gross profit by 35% a year, and operating profit by 125% a year. Those are Kagers over the last five years. And, and you can tell by the deepening of their strategic partnerships with big cloud companies, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, um, and also with the PC revenue. I mean, the PC revenue that they printed today in their results was up over 100% year over year in notebooks. Obviously the market is strong, but that wow. that's a position that Intel has held for a very long time. And I think the technical leadership that Lisa and Mark Papermaster and others at AMD have, have demonstrated, uh, you don't win that share off of Intel easily. And they've had to struggle their way up and it's all because of the leadership. Yeah. Matt, thanks for joining me today. I know you're sticking with AMD, but your thoughts and, and those numbers on kind of what she's accomplished are just amazing. So we appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.